Hey, what's up, Master Trainers? This is your host, Troy Jonas here, straight out of Safety Valley, and today we're gonna play more Pokemon Master Trainer RPG. Yeah. 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 Alright, so let's get started, okay? Since this is the sixth episode of this gameplay series. So before anything, just go ahead and leave a thumbs up, subscribe and share this video with everyone else you wanna play this game with. This way you can help me out to reach my next goal of 500 subscribers and enable the community tab here in the channel. Yeah, and also, of course, if you didn't see the last episodes, just go ahead and check it out the playlist I'm gonna be leaving up there in the cards, alright? Since the previous episode, I faced Brock, yeah? Also caught a new Pokemon, which is Barbolt, aka my secret weapon, now against Brock once again, and even evolved my Galarian Zigzagoon into a Galarian Linoon, right? So it was awesome. Of course, just go ahead and watch the playlist I'm gonna be leaving over there in the cards if you wanna learn how to play this game in a very easy and visual way, yeah? Since I did a whole playlist where I demonstrate each one of the rules here in practice, all right? And one very important thing you need to talk about in today's episode is about the last update video. Yeah, if you follow the channel, you know that my latest video was about the updates. Yeah, it was the fourth episode of the updates playlist where I introduce you to the trainer skills, right? It's a new gimmick. So we're gonna be applying this gimmick to this game from now on. Okay, so if you didn't see, make sure to go ahead and check it out, the updates playlist as well. And of course, if you want to become an etymology master just like me, and get to know that Helioptile's name, as an example, comes from the words Helio and Reptile, what make this Pokemon a kind of electric lizard, what explains pretty much everything about the visual and typing, so you should check it out my etymology master online course. There I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know, behind each Pokemon name's origin in a very fun, quick and visual way. Besides boosting your English vocabulary, you're also gonna get an exclusive Etymology Master Certificate after concluding each one of the courses, plus a bonus PDF file in order for you to recap it anytime, anywhere you want, alright? So if you're going to set about it, please don't forget to check out the video I'm gonna be leaving up there in the cards, since this course is what sponsors this whole project, alright? And by the way, also, don't forget to go ahead and follow me on all my social media. This way you can stay tuned about any news here in this project. Alright? Okay, so now, so far so good. Let's go ahead and before anything, let's go and get one skill, right? Since, as I told you in the previous video, on the update video about where I explain each one of the trainer skills, yeah? We have the right to pick one when we just start the game and also every time we get into a new region. So, since we didn't get into the green region yet, I only have the right to pick one skill, yeah? As they say, better later than never, all right? So, let me go ahead and pick one, which I think is going to be the team worker, right? I'm definitely and desperately in need of some XP, all right? So, let's check it out. After a battle, each active Pokemon in your hand gets one experience point which is pretty much like having a experience share in your hand 24-7, alright? It works exactly the same way. If my Pokemon returns to my hand alive as a winner, then all the other active Pokemon are going to get experience points as well, one point. So we can check it out the rules here. Team Worker allows the player to provide one experience point to each active Pokemon in their hand when and only when their Pokemon returns to their hand as winner, right? Can be combined with XP share. So it's an awesome skill for me to have, mostly because I still don't have the XP share yet. And then, once I have it, it's going to be boosting my farm passively, alright? Which is going to be awesome. Indeed, no doubt at all. Okay, alright, so now we were here, right? The end of the last episode. And I want to make my way back to Pewter City. This way I can face Brock once again. Although now I have this little secret weapon right here. A.K.A. Barbolt. 
can't wait to use it. Alright, so let's go, since I used the Poké Camp, yeah, last episode, I'm just going to go ahead and flip one energy coin in order for me to skip the next space, yeah, <laughs> not gonna mess with this magic card. You earn the rights of remaining there, chilling, alright, so I'm gonna go straight to Pewter City, and here I am. Alright, so let me go ahead and recover my energy coin, and also move my Galarian Lightning away from my hand towards my computer, right? It's going to be stashed there because I don't want to take the risk of facing a Team Rocket without having a full green hand, right? Okay, so let's do that. Let's go. Put 12 there, all right. And here, let's leave with zero. Okay, so once I've got rid, at least temporarily, of my Galarian Light Noon, now I think I, I have everything I need in order to go ahead and face Brock once again, right? I have Galarian Meowth, Barbolt, and not one, but two power-ups, a bonus attack, and even a time machine. Which although is not a potion, right? But it still works a lot, I think, against Brock. Since I can use one power-up to power-up my Galarian Meowth against Geodude, and the other one to power-up my Barbolt against Onyx, yeah? And I even have the bonus attack. Okay, but one thing I was almost forgetting is that I have the right to pick one item card. So I still have the chance to get a potion. Can I do it? I spent the whole episode last time trying to get my hands on one. Let's see if I can get lucky this time. Alright, one, two, three, drop. Oh no, just Dynamax Band. Oh no, what a waste. Okay, alright. No problem. So before I finish my turn, I'm gonna go and challenge Brock once again. All right, Brock, just come back to the play and face me like the probably cousin of mine you are. <laughs> okay, there we go once again. Let's grab Brock's card chip. Yeah, so this time Brock is going to be using Geodude. All right. Okay, very well. It's Bonus die right there. Uh huh. Let's leave my die right there. My DH. Okay, very well. And of course, Galarian Meowth. I choose you again. There we have it. Galarian Meowth against Geodude. All right. So let's go ahead and check it out the interactions between them. All right. So my Galarian Meowth is going to use Metal Claw. So Metal against Rock. It's going to be a D6, just like before. And metal against ground is going to be nothing, right? And then Geodude's attack is going to be rock. Rock against metal is going to be a D4, minus D4. Okay, very well for me, right? There we have it. Okay, but this time I'm going to play my power up. Use this items to boost your Pokemon's attack power. Use a higher attack die until the battle ends or your Pokemon loses. Alright, so let's do it. Let's switch my DH for a D12. Oh, now things are going to get pretty serious, right? Okay, let's go. Let's get 20 to any. Oh yeah, let's double check if that's right. Yeah, so Geodude is going, going to attack us with D8 and have 20 life points and recover 10 life points. Alright, so that's it. I think we are pretty much set. So now let's go and get this battle started. Come on, Miguel Miao, I'm counting on you. We're not going to lose this time. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. Metal Claw. Oh, no, not, not counting. Okay, now we go. One, two, three. Metal Claw. Alright, so here we have 5 plus 6, which is 11, yeah, not that big of deal, since I could get 5 out of the 8, but pretty good anyway, so 11 plus 2 is 13, right, 13 down for your dude, and then he hit us with 4 minus 1, which is 3, plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7, okay, yeah, not that bad at all, alright, so I think we can just finish it up right now. Come on, Galarian Meowth, let's go once more, Metal Claw. 
all right all right all right okay here we have it seven plus two is more than enough so we just took geodude down let's see if he it does the same with us okay so we, now we have two minus four finally minus two plus three is one plus two is three. Oh, wow so that was way better than i expected right not thanks to the power up yeah but thanks to my advantage die wow that was awesome it was such a quick battle as well so we just won against geodude all right which grants another two experience points to my galarian Meowth. all right so since my pokemon didn't lose and the battle didn't end it is still going on all right my pokemon still have the power up okay so now brock is going to use its own eggs okay then so no big deal since I'm gonna keep my Galar off. So it's going to be Galar off against Onyx. Although I have my rights of my life recover. Okay, which is 5. So I'm gonna go and add 5 points. 5 life points to my Galar off. So it's going to be me against Onyx. Now Onyx is going to use DH again. Although it's, ha it's going to have 30 life points. Wow. Literally twice as much as I have with Galar off. So it's going to be such a challenge, all right? Okay, very well. Let me see. I think I'm also gonna use my bonus attack. Mm, no, 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 I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna leave those for everything I have actually for my secret weapon. Okay, so it means if, if you wanna take it down, you gotta do it by your own with you already have. Okay, you're letting me off. All right, so since the interaction remains the same, let's go ahead and get started with Come on, Glory Meowth, Metal Claw once again. Let's take down this Onyx. All right, all right, let's go, let's go. <laughs> all right, damn. Double maximizing. We just maximized our D12 in my D6. Oh my gosh, so freaking me. Damn it. It would be perfect to use my bonus, at my bonus attack, right? Card. Holy roly coly! Finally, I said holy roly coly in a good way. Oh my god, that was brutal! That was obscene almost, alright? So, okay, we got 18 plus 2. <laughs> Freaking 20 down! Oh my gosh, two thirds of Onyx life in a single hit. Oh damn it! Oh my gosh. This, this Galar Meowth is a menace, alright? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Although, yeah. Okay, okay. We, we Now we can see the backslash. Yeah, the drawbacks here right now. So, Onyx hit us with 8 as well. Yeah, we maximize attack and minimize it. We minus die. Alright, so with 8 minus 1 is 7. Luckily, it also minimizes the bonus attack die, which is 7 plus 1. So, remaining 8. Yeah, 8 plus 4 is 12. Woo! Alright. Which leave us with three life points yet. Oh, I mean, yeah, three life points. Holy moly, that was crazier than I thought. We actually have the chance of finishing Brock up right here, right now, with using only Galar Meowth. That's that's nuts. And I, I was definitely not expecting for that to happen. All right. Okay, you know what? I let me see. Okay, I don't need that much. So I don't think it would be wise for me to use the bonus attack. The, everything comes to worse. I can just use my time machine, right? To try once again. Ooh, I hope I don't regret it. Okay, all right, let's do it. Let's go once more. Come on, Glory Meowth. Let's go, let's roll. One, two, three. Metal Claw. Whoa! <laughs> we did it. All right, finally. Seven plus three, AKA 10. 10 plus 2, 12, and Onyx is finally down, alright, finally, okay, then Onyx, whoa, <laughs> alright, I think Onyx got hurt pretty bad, yeah, got pretty bruised, because now it just barely touches, so it was, it got 2, minus 2, which is 0, yeah, so plus 1, just 1, 1 plus 4 is 5, oh my gosh, we almost made out of it alive, yeah, and if I think about it, if I have picked the cheerer skill other than the team worker, my Galarian Alpha would be alive right now. 
but it doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter because I wouldn't have the team worker nor the XP share to provide XP to other Pokémon, so it is the same. It is the same thing, yeah. And also the draw or, or AKA the double KO works for me since I also going to get full experience points from this battle. Woo! Oh my god! So it was all about pressure, right? <laughs> all about my Barboach pressuring my Galarian Elf into you know performing better. <laughs> Damn, that was awesome, awesome, awesome. One, two, three, four. Thanks a lot, Geodude, and thanks a lot, Brock, for, you know, allowing me to kick her ass this time. Wow, that was crazy. That was awesomely crazy. Okay, that was way better than I expected. I didn't even have to use my second Pokemon. Wow, that, yeah, was very nice. So let's, you know, return Brock to its bag yeah, where it belongs now and of course let's go ahead and finally grab my first badge okay it was in time right here we have the boulder badge all right awesome very well i'm very lucky okay there we have it awesome awesome that was a smashing battle we just smash it with our galarian meowth that turns out to be the monstrosity, yeah, it was super aggressive, but thanks a lot to my power-up, okay, without my power-up, I definitely wouldn't be able to do that thing, where I got maximum amount on both dice, right, it was definitely thanks to my power-up, for sure, no doubt about it, <laughs> and who, who, who tell, huh, just one power-up was enough for me to take down Brock using only my Galarian Meowth. That is crazy stuff. All right. Okay, so now my turn is finished. Yeah, and then it is my turn once again. Okay, so five plus eight, thirteen. I go with thirteen, and I'm gonna still leave my Galarian Lightning there in the computer, right? And I'm gonna pick it up. Okay, so now I have bigger concerns other than that, which is making my way all the way towards the green region, alright? Okay, um, before anything, let's go ahead, shuffle and deal the chips. There we go, alright. Okay, and now we need to think how we are going to go all the way there, alright? Uh, are we going to stop here and face this apple? Mm, uh, not quite sure, huh? It is... 3 out of 3, so it's it's pretty strong, mm, alright, but hey, so now now we have the the badge, yeah, but not for this this route, okay, we don't we don't get the, the bonus from this route, anyways, alright, so let me go, okay, you know what, I'm gonna go straight to this, even card space right here, alright, yeah, I think, I know it's risky, but I gotta take the risk, alright, I think my Pokemon are quite good, and yeah, and I have, you know, everything I need in order to try to kick my way out of a Team Rocket encounter, alright? So let's go ahead, let's flip the, the energy coin and make my way straight to, ooh, to the exp, uh, event card space, alright? Okay, let's go ahead, let's shuffle it and draw one. And hopefully it's going to be a good one, alright? One, two, three... Ooh, wow, all right, Celebi, okay? The mythical Pokemon Celebi has appeared. If each player sets free one Pokemon of it, their hands, the Guardian of the Forest will use its time travel power to move team's markers one space backwards, all right? Which is not the case since <laughs> Team Rocket didn't even score a single point so far. Okay, I appreciate your time, Celebi, but it won't be needed right now. Okay, all right. It wasn't that good, but at least it wasn't bad at all. Okay, all right, so now let's go and move once more Just one more space forward and face the Pokemon we're going to find right here So I'm gonna go one by one all the way until here and then from here all the way to Cerulean City I'm gonna definitely try to hush my way forward. All right. Okay. Let's see which one is waiting for us here 
Why not? All right. Okay. Luckily, it's not a fairy type. Okay. So it's why not? Yeah. I uh, two one. Okay. Two attack power one. So let me see which one is good against psychic. All right. So bug, ghost, and dark. Yeah, I don't have any Pokemon with those kind of attack, right? So, I think, I don't know, I'm going to use my Taylor, all right? So, come on, Taylor, I choose you! All right, so let's do it, 20 to any, yeah, D8 and D8. Now, let's check it out, the interactions between them. So, why not? It's pure Psychic. So, we have a flying attack against psychic which is nothing and then we have psychic attack against flying type which is nothing and psychic against normal which is also nothing all right so it's going to be bare dh for each one of them all right without further ado let's get started come on taylor use pack okay let's see all right so three plus two is five five down there and then one plus two is three all right, so far so good. Let's keep going. Come on, Taylor. Pack once again. Okay, better now. Whoa. Four plus two is six. Six down. All right, okay. And then he hit us. Oh, no. So now he hit us with nine. Oh, my gosh. I think it was just warm up before, right? So seven plus two is nine. Damn. Pretty even. Oh, holy roly coly. Huh? Come on, Taylor. We got to make out of it alive, all right? So let's go once again. Pack. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Holy moly. Almost in the book. Okay, all right. So we got it. We got exactly what we needed. Oh, that was awesome. Seven plus two, which is nine. So took it down. And then he hit us with five plus two, with seven. Holy moly. Exactly what we needed in order to remain alive. That was awesome definitely awesome right so I, our tail comes back as a winner and then since i have the team worker skill right i'm gonna be able to provide one experience point to each one of my active pokemon in my hand which means one for you one for you of course one for you as well because you won right one for you and one for you <laughs> all right so that was awesome and i'm not gonna try to you know catch why not you know because i i don't think is going to be such a big deal right now okay i have better picks to worry about which is the one against misty all right so thank you a lot why not i appreciate your time but it won't be needed okay there we go all right wow that was awesome that was just the bare necessity all right <laughs> okay all right let's go ahead and in this turn let's keep moving forward and facing Pokemon, let's see which one is awaiting for us right now. Ooh, Pensier. Okay, luckily not a fairy as well. Okay, so Pensier will be an easy match against my Barbolt, of course, since each and every other one will be terrible against it, alright? So, come on, Barbolt, I choose you. Okay, now Pensier against Barbolt, that will be very interesting. Let's check it out. The interaction right so we have pursue with fire attack against water water type yeah primarily water so minus d4 for it and also fire against ground which is going to be nothing and then we have ground attack against fire so let's check it out ground against fire <laughs> it's going to be a d6 for us wow so this battle is supposed to be very quick all right okay so 20 to any and here we go okay by boat let's do it mud slap all right all right let's go three plus two is five five plus two is seven seven down and then prince you just hit us with two minus three which is minus one plus two which is one <laughs> all right so barely a scratch come on prince you can do better than that huh but hopefully not okay let's go by boat once again Mud slap. All right, so now we got five. We got six plus one, which is seven. Seven plus two is nine. Woohoo! Just four more to go, and then he hit us harder now. Although it doesn't matter because four minus four 
is still zero and just hit us with two. Okay, barely scratches. Come on, Barboach, let's go and let's finish. Yeah, but actually, you don't even need to roll because two plus at least one and one is four. So, yeah, we already won. Okay, and then it's never going to take us down just rolling a DH with a minus die. Okay, since the best you can get at seven, seven plus two is far away from 16. So, this battle is over. All right, Barboach, very well. Welcome back to the team, yeah, and since you, we have the team worker, XP to everyone. So one for you, one for you, one for you, and one for you, all right? Awesome. Okay, so if you pay attention, yeah, my Charmander is now already allowed to evolve, okay? So since I'm allowed to hold his evolution, that's what I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to hold Charmander's evolution because I don't want to get a Charmander right now and turn it into a blue chip. So I'm going to hold it until I think it's good for and safe for me to have a blue chip in my hand. Of course, because I can never, you know, get rid of my starter Pokemon, right? And by the way, our Galarian Meowth is almost evolving, so that's very exciting. Mostly thanks to Team Worker, all right? Thank you a lot. Okay, so yeah, uh, Pansir, thank you for, you know, allowing us to beat you up. But uh, as well, as happened before, you're not going to be necessary here okay so let's just get rid of this pencil shuffle and let's go ahead to our final pink space here all right let's see which one is awaiting for us okay one two three let's see all right so we have stunky okay stunky is such a good one all right this one is definitely interesting for us to have since it's very strong and also has a dark type attack which is going to be very handy against Sabrina, all right? So I'm definitely, you know, considering trying to catch this one, all right? Although I have to think which one is going to be good against Poison, and I think I already know the answer, right? It's going to be my Galar Meowth. Whoa, this ferocious Pokemon. Okay, Galar Meowth, I choose you. All right, so it's you against Tanky. Okay, so 20 to end to each one of you. Right, so let's check it out the interaction between them. So first we have dark type against steel, which is nothing. Yeah, so no advantage or disadvantage to you. But steel type against poison is nothing as well. And steel against dark is also nothing. Yeah, all right. So this tanky got lucky because it doesn't have a poison attack right poison type attack so that's why it's going to be a bear dh for each one of them all right not as good as i thought although i don't think it's going to matter that much all right since i believe my galar meowth will be able to take it down <laughs> and then if it doesn't someone's gotta you know take care of this issue all right galar meowth let's go oh no <laughs> <laughs> Just because I said it, all right? Oh, uh, rest in peace, Galar Meowth. It was, it was good. Well, it was good to give you a try, all right? So, one plus two is three, only three. And then this freaking monster just hit us with 11. And just took more than half of our life in one single hit. Holy moly, I definitely need to catch this Pokemon. All right, Galar Meowth. Just, you know, just, you know, I uh, hope he has mercy on you, all right? So, three plus two is five. Minus five. And then hit us with five, okay? Two plus three, okay? So now it got so easy on you, all right? Okay, so now it's your chance to turn tables, okay? Hope you you take it. All right, one, two, three. Actually, not because eight plus two is ten most, okay? Oh yeah, I don't know. At least you give it a try, all right? So three plus two is five minus five, and then it just hit us with more than necessary to take us down. All right, so Galarian Meowth just got knock it out. Yeah, definitely not the lion we saw against Brock, right? Uh, maybe because it didn't have its secret weapon, yeah? All right. So, hey, okay, so here we have... We need to take down that Tanky, all right? So I think I'm gonna go and use my Taylor once again. So, Taylor, I choose you. All right, so I'm gonna be 20 for me. And then five more for this Tanky, all right? Which, now let's check it out. Then we have Dark Attack against Flying, which is nothing, and against Normal, it's nothing, 
and then flying attack against Dark is also going to be nothing. All right, so let's go, Taylo. I hope you can take down this Tanky. All right, one, two, three, let's go. Woohoo! All right, that's what I'm talking about. Holy roly coly! Now we talking. Okay, so ten, ten it down. Okay, just two, and then it just hit us <laughs> with four. All right, so I think my Taylo definitely scared this Tanky. All right. Okay, let's just finish now. All right. Yeah, of course, we're going to finish with three at least. And then he hit us with ten. Wow. I still hit us quite, quite good, all right? Leaving us with only six, okay? But, you know, more than enough for us to have our victory. All right. So, welcome back to the team. Okay, Taylor, very well. Thank you so much. Ooh, and unfortunately, I didn't get the XP share I was, I was expecting, yeah, in order to evolve my Galarian Meowth, damn it, so one for you, one for you, and one for you, alright, okay, at least I got a chance now to try to catch this Stunky, can I do it, can we do it, there's only way to know it, alright, if everything comes to worse, I'm gonna use my time machine, alright, so one, two, three, let's roll, oh no, <laughs> damn it, alright, since I know I didn't, didn't have the catcher, you know, training skill as well, I have no other choice other than using my time machine to re-roll, alright? Okay, so now, come on, let's do it. Now we can do it. One, two, three. Woohoo! Alright, finally. So now we just caught a brand new Pokemon, aka Stunky, alright? A three out of three very strong pink Pokemon. Okay, that was awesome. Alright, alright. And then, now, what is left for me... Is this situation, yeah, where I, I'm about to get into the green region, all right? Pick another skill and find a way somehow to manage to survive my trip all the way to Cerulean City. Can I do it? How good can I do it? Will it be too risky for me to do so? Yeah, which is going to be my strategy? All those questions are going to be answered in the next episode, all right? So don't forget, you could always come here to the pkmmti.com in order to get access, not only to the rules, alright, but also you're going to be able to click here on the download button in order to request access to all my printable files available on my Google Drive. There you're going to find all the public contents available so far that could be downloaded in order for you to print it out and assemble your own physical version of this game, just like a huge DIY. And of course, if you like this game and this project and want to support me, please consider checking out my Patreons page, alright? Since there, you're gonna find an option where you cannot just support this project, backing me up, but also to have exclusive access to a bunch of content regarding the Express mode maps, the Super Express game mode map, also the spin-offs from the Pokemon Go Kanto, and even the Pokemon Unite map, alright? And then, you're also gonna get early access to the next map I'm going to be releasing, which is the Orange Island map, alright? So make sure to go ahead and check it out on my Patreon page. The link is going to be down there in the description. And talking about there in the description, there you're also going to find a link to the Logos by Nick Academy, a very cool platform full of courses, which are going to teach you everything you need to know in order to master your skills to become a Logo Creator Master, alright? This way, you're going to be learning everything from free softwares such as GIMP and Inkscape in order to create very cool and professional logos just like these ones right here I have created in order to use here in this project. And then who knows with those skills, it might be possible for you to create some very cool and professional logos to other people and even making an extra income out of that, alright? So if you got interested about it, don't forget to check out the links down there in the description. And of course, every product, serves or course purchase through the links down below is going to support this channel a lot and help me out to keep bringing you more content. Please don't forget to go ahead and ring the bell in order to get notified about new videos here in this channel. I hope you guys enjoyed another episode and I see you in the next one.